Welcome to the Mysterious Accent channel. Why does Liz always go back to Big Ed? After the engagement party fight, Liz threw her ring in some random person's yard. And now she's gonna go back and look for it. Because she wants to go back to Big Ed and fix things. But why? It's hard to understand why she stays with him. But after watching a few episodes in a row, I think I finally understand the reason why she always go back to him. I used to think it was about cloud chasing or something like this, but actually, I think she's just financially dependent on him. Throughout the video, I'm gonna explain the reasons why I think she's financially dependent on him. So, she actually finds the ring somehow. You found it. You know, the back. So Liz goes back to Big Ed's house to give him the ring, but she stays there. She sleeps there, probably because she don't have anywhere else to go. Liz probably don't even have enough money to go to a hotel for a day, because why else would she stay with him after such a fight? She should at least spend the night somewhere else. It's now the morning, and I want to talk about what happened. We're both sober, but she is as angry, if not more right now as she was last night. The reason why Liz is so angry is because Big Ads is still talking about the same things. One of your gay girlfriends is bracing you. Where do you think my head went? When, when we first got together, you told me that you would be with a woman if it wasn't for me. It looks like it's the same day, but it's actually another day. But he looks like a broken record, always repeating the same things over and over again. And that's another reason why I think she's financially dependent on him. But this is actually a weak argument. I'm gonna give better arguments by the end of the video. You told me when you were drunk the yes. other night that you would rather sleep with Alex and fuck her than me. Oh, and what you have you told that. me when you're drunk? What do you tell me? To hurt you back? Yeah, you tell me the same thing. I, I just oh, said bullshit. you had a small dick. Right. That's what I said. Oh, whatever. Okay, this is a very important information. Now we know that Big Ed has a tiny wang. I can't really say that I'm surprised, but it's always very good to confirm this kind of information. So yeah, it's official now. The only big thing about Big Ed is his name. I yeah. never said oh, yeah. that I'm gonna go screw someone else. I was probably drunk and I don't remember it's saying It's not okay! What? You accuse me of something because you're insecure. You're always going to be that way. And you know what? I'm if sorry I'm for them, not right? letting you walk all over them, me if anymore. I'm with it's interesting how Big Ed is always complaining about Liz being mean to him, but usually he's the one that starts every fight, every discussion, every time. And he always adds even more fuel to the fire. I don't want a girlfriend, let alone a fiancé, let alone a wife, that wants to have a girl's night out, that wants to, to be in a bar. You want a wife? I am home with you. Stop making it seem like I'm this little party animal when we know who the party no, Liz, animal I'm not, is. I'm not saying I don't know why Big Ed is pretending to not be a party boy because he was the one dating the sugar babies not long ago. He always thinks everyone is the problem but himself. Usually the person who accuses everyone of cheating is the real cheater. There's nothing wrong with being a lesbian. The reason that we got in a fight was because this toxic person was invited to our engagement party. When I cut out every single one of my friends to be with you, including my mom and my daughter. Don't put that on me. Well. Do not put that on me. Their fights always follow the same pattern. Big Ed says something stupid because he's insecure about something, and then Liz gets angry, and then they fight, then they break up, but eventually they go back to each other. It's always the same pattern. I'm not insecure. You're obviously not the right woman. Into Stop telling me you're not going to marry me. I don't need the ring. Go return it, please. I'm asking you nicely to leave. Oh, please. I'm happy to leave. So yeah, they break up once again, but don't worry, they're gonna be back very soon. But before, Big Ed's gonna use his signature move, the fake tears. I just... I do love her. Yeah, I don't like... We don't like to fight, like... It sucks. It's funny how he says that he don't like to fight her, but he's always fighting her. So either he's lying and he actually likes to fight with her because, you know, there is a fighting fetish. Or he's doing a terrible job at avoiding those fights. Because it makes me feel like I'm his equal. It's pretty much over. They break up again, but don't worry, they will get back together. And this time it's gonna be in record time. You know, at the end of the day, through all of this, we both decided that 
We wanted to work on our relationship. We haven't given up. This gotta be a new record. It's the same day and they are already back together. It's a different episode, but it's the same day. Unbelievable. By the way, let's take a moment to appreciate Big Ed riding his scooter, because I don't know why, but I think this scene is hilarious. I can only laugh about it. Ed has insecurities and he's very jealous. And as angry and emotional as I am, and I'm like, this isn't gonna work out, I know that I don't want to give up on him just yet. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about why Liz is financially dependent on Big Ed and why I think this is the main reason why she's always going back to him. So they're gonna go to a therapist. The fight after the engagement party and then I had therapy that following Friday and I just said, I'm going to therapy, you're welcome to join. And she said, I would love to go. During the therapy section, Liz is going to review some very interesting information about their personal life. And it really changed my perspective. Like, I don't ever want to be back in a position where I'm starting from like rock bottom. Sleeping in my car. And so I don't want to go through that again. So security for you represents that I can support myself without anybody else's help. Liz is financially dependent on Big Ed. She don't have anywhere else to go. I think Big Ed arranged the relationship so that Liz would be dependent on him, which would make leaving him difficult for her. Because it's easier to control a person if the person don't have anywhere else to go. I would like to be going back to work. Lately, I haven't tried to pick up any shifts because there's a conflict of kind of making Ed feel secure that I'm not out late or anything like that, so it's just hard. We all know that Big Ed is extremely jealous, and that's probably the reason why he doesn't allow her to work, which makes her financially dependent on him. So it's very easy for Big Ed to control Liz since she's financially dependent on him. She has to have a sense of purpose outside of this relationship. She needs to have an, an, a separate life so that she can love you fully. So that's it. This relationship is the only thing Liz has at the moment. Everything she does revolves around him because he doesn't allow her to do anything else. She's also financially dependent on him because he doesn't allow her to work and that's the reason why she always goes back to him. I mean, don't get me wrong, maybe she enjoys clout chasing a little bit, but she don't have any other choice. The B-level fame and the TLC paychecks are the only things Liz has right now. Maybe Liz even loves the guy for real. However, we all know that love is not enough. After everything they went through, the best thing to do would be to break up forever. However, she can't do it, because she has probably developed some kind of emotional and financial attachments to him. Or maybe I'm wrong, maybe she just likes to ride on the back of his scooter. And I have to admit, um, based on the past, that Liz going back to work does scare me. My main reservations are working late shifts, um, coworkers wanting to go out and party. It's the environment. Um, and it saddens me that, that I'm coming off as controlling. Apparently, Big Ed doesn't really care that Liz is living her entire life for him. He's only sad because he's gonna come off as controlling. He's the type of guy that don't like to stick his neck out. But, um, so may I make a request? That's not what we're doing in this okay. part. So, what do you think? Do you agree with me? My name is Mysterious Accent and if you want to see the end of the story or if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to my channel because I'm gonna do videos like this about the full story. That's it for today, see you in the next video!